Ian. That is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. What it do? It's your boy DJ A. I'm in here with the squad. Got my man's pro form in the building. Eat irk. <laughs> Say with my hope girl Coley Cole. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Got my boy Marcus, big dog. Yo, yo. And you know we got your boy Drew. Let's go. We are the Break Room Podcast. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Yo, you know behind the boards, we got my man Q. Shout out Q. Yo, man. I'm doing his thing back there. Hell yeah. Hey. Alright, man, go kill that. My blunt, my G. Marcus over there ashing on my blunt, man. I ashed over it. I ashed over it. No, nah, there's there's was. clearly ash on my. Then that's, you're gonna blow it. Whole then you're gonna there blow it, and the whole <laughs> ashtray just go everywhere. What happened? Until we're crossing lines. Dang, man. Yeah, we just got here. We just got in the building. <laughs> and Marcus like is trashing the, the blunt already. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? What had happened was you, you asked on my motherfucking ash. blunt. That's what had happened. Y'all need extra ashtrays. Hell yes. Oh, I hate reaching for it every time. This, this the, mic be all up in my face. Like, mm, you, can't, mm. you can't see nothing over there. Right. I'm like, yo, we gotta, do we got to drop down a little bit? I don't. I, no, I'm talking about when I go to Ash. It's like, uh, uh, I don't include that. Just open your mouth like everybody. Right. Ah, you know I mean? <laughs> I'm going to start going I like that. I want to hear that esophagus, bro. bro. Having that big black thing yo. in your mouth. Damn, Cole. Yo. Why are you gonna say cold? Why is it always gotta be like that? Why is it always gotta be like that? A dick in the color of it. That's <laughs> right, right. I just think of Pringo cans every time I look at her now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo. Uh, oh, Damn. Yeah, so it was good, squad. What up, what up? Shit, yeah. another day. I know, I just saw y'all the other day, I swear to God. I see you every, almost every day. I know, right? I see you too. Like I, I, see three y'all. Y'all. I see all y'all cast literally like every day. Yeah, I see Drew all day, I, I see Kev every night, and Cole's been coming through, you know what I mean? Marcus be all over the internet. All over everything. All over my inbox, trying to holler, you know how he do. Yeah, I've been listening to that Stop Calling like fucking nonstop. Yo, he has. He that song's me, good me. as shit, for real. Oh, thank you, thank you, nah, bro. Like, like real shit. That's a good song. Yeah. Like, that's, oh, thank it you. sounds yeah, like, that's like yeah. I be vibing at work like. Yeah, dog, stop calling yeah, yeah. Stop thing. calling my phone. No, that shit's stupid, no, that bitch. Song. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the one by Big Dog. I know. Oh, no, is but, that how it goes? But, no. Oh, okay. no, but, no, he played it. But yeah. Yo, what's your favorite line in it? Go ahead. I don't, I don't know. I mean, how you gonna put me on the spot like that? Yeah. <laughs> you listen to it all day. I have, I I do. I'm like, I can't recite it yet. Yeah. I'm gonna get nah, there. Nah, the end of it. The end of it when he's like, so you could get the click of the tone. That shit. Yeah. That shit uh, hard. Dang. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn, now I gotta go back and listen to it. I don't remember. I, I do. Was, I watched the video. I'm telling you, it, it's good, but because the way my life is right now, it just, it. It, it really fits. hits me right now because, you know oh, what I mean? I'm, I'm in a, in a, that type of situation. I've been, I've been like that for a while, so. You ready to hang up on a bitch? Yeah. Well, I've been doing it. Okay. Stop calling my fucking phone, yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drew's recently um, single, you know, yeah, had a yeah. long like, relationship, literally. so he's been yeah. in and out of everything, mm. huh? Yeah. Nah. This guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good yeah. hater, bro. Nah, my man yeah. handling his business. He's throwing jabs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, my man over there handling business. Yeah, you know. I'll be watching him at work. Yo, he, was, he was down yeah. with me today, busting his ass a little bit. He got to come into my world. You know I, mean? I wasn't quite ready. I was, yeah. I was indulging. We didn't get burned or killed or nothing. We golden. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> well, we get to walk out and come back and risk it all again. Aaron, you know Aaron told me today, he's like, oh, I seen Drew almost catch on fire about three or four times. I literally <laughs> have. I got if, videos of it. If I don't almost die at least once a rotation, yeah. something ain't right. Nah, yeah. That means we ain't got productivity prep. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Something's not working. <laughs> if, <laughs> if it's safe, it's not productive. Yeah. yeah. It's, ba- <laughs> it's backwoods not yeah, working. definitely not enough fire yeah. in that bitch. Just because you fucking like, rolled oh, a oh. finger, dog. Damn. Osha <laughs> just entered the chat. Yo. You said what? <laughs> Who Osha just entered the chat. <laughs> Osha. Osha. Oh, shit. Fucking Osha. Yeah, the Osha been through. Yeah. The Osha been through. They came whenever the building caught on fire. Yeah. Not that long. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't there that day. Yeah, I did get calls from everybody blowing me up that day, though. But shit, so what's good, y'all? Is there anything new since the last time I saw y'all this morning? <laughs> no, he said this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we were just kicking it about Bless two hours ago. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I got, I got some, uh, I got a couple topics I was writing down. You know what I'm saying? Some shit, bullshit. I got a shop. new, I got a new shirt today. Oh shit! You see that? Oh, oh shit! shit. You see that? Y'all can't see it, but it's pretty cool. 
That shit's lit. It is cool as so. hell. It gives me some like trippy see Invader y'all. Zim vibe. Oh, hold on. Let, here. I'm going to come up to the camera. Aaron, I can't see y'all. Your What's camera's on? off. You can't see who? Oh, y'all. I can't see y'all. You can't see nobody? I see a yellow I see a yellow screen with Aaron's, Aaron's face on it. <laughs> you lucky. Lucky. Looks like you got eyeshadow and pencil on and shit. Like you got makeup on your face. Like you filtered that shit. I think you're looking at somebody else. He said it's a yellow no, it screen like, with your face on it. That's all he sees. Yellow. It's your profile picture. He's That's all I see is your profile picture. Yeah, his oh, Facebook dang. profile picture? Oh. Yeah, I'm just getting tired of looking at it. It's probably something oh, wrong with damn. your video. Well, my mother said I was handsome. <laughs> Somebody's mother said that. <laughs> Somebody's mom. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this bitch. Yo, yo, Mark's put a hole in here. I ain't even get it yet. Yo. I ain't even get it yet. No, you. I think you ashed on it and put a hole in it. It was over. <coughs> like the ash was done. No, I was asking you guys earlier about that uh, Don Tolliver album. I know nobody listened to it. Nah. But, yo, the concept was fucking crazy. They said this cat made a whole album. And, hold on, pass it. This one got a big ass hole in it. But, I can't do nothing with that shit. But, uh, yeah, yeah, this shit clocked up already. No, listen. So, this album... He based it off inside of. It's based inside of like a hospital, and the each song is about a relationship between somebody else in there. Like you know, what I mean, like everybody's story. Kind of like each song is right. somebody's story. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's like all these different oh. love stories and all kind of tragedies and like. Like, just the concept of that was, was dope to me, you know what I mean? So, basically, he going through diagnosing all his past relationships with different Possibly, types I don't know, of diseases I, and shit. I didn't get to l- listen to it. I wanted to. Oh, I thought See, you was, <laughs> you was telling me. I, I, know, was, that's <laughs> a, yo, I, was, I was reading about if that If you would have explained it earlier in the group chat, I probably would have been listening to yeah, it. That's, that's that's like, I was telling it, yeah, that sounds like Yeah, just like, yo. This Check it out. I got a concept. What, I got a concept. What if I could actually see y'all? You really yeah. still can't see us. Bro, it's got to be, that's, that's got to be on your end. end. No. Oh, no, yo, Q, push no, it out for a second. All he has to do is turn the, turn, the, turn the video on. Turn his camera on. I'm sitting Somebody down. Turn the play, video hold on. Up. He stopped the record. I'm cool. not at the computer, remember? Cool. There's this alcohol guy, still over there, right? sitting on a laptop or something. Don't wanna be. All right, yo, I got a question for the fellas in here. Okay. I know only there's only a couple of us in here that got girls or, or wives or whatever, but it's only you, bro. No, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Oh well, you're cute too. Well, I mean, yeah, my bad. We've so, had the majority yeah. of the men in here have women. I'm, no. I'm so sorry for you. Guys. It's 50 50, bro. No, no, there's three of us. Oh, Kev, okay. I forgot. Kev, my bad. You on the. Yeah, Kev got a wife. He digitally. Oh, wife. But he digitally here. I, ain't, I was looking around the room. Yeah, no, listen. All right. Would you? I t- I already asked Cole. Would you let your girl go on stage and get serenaded by, say, Chris Brown, Usher, or one of them, them like Trey songs, like they, literally like dick in the face, like fucking. You say singing, dick in like, the face, though. With, with, whispering but in her ear, stage. licking on. You know what I mean? On stage, what? doing the fucking thing at the concert. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you feel some type of way? Nah, and you want to know why? Cause he ain't finna fuck her. Exactly. My, my girls are regular. You know? That's why. Cause they I'm like Chris fucking Brown. regulars, bro. Remember they they got a dick they will fuck. All I'm saying, no, you're right. But all I'm saying is that there's a good chance he ain't gonna end up fucking her. So she gonna have a whole bunch of pent up energy that she gonna have to get to somebody. And I'm taking her home. So I'm, I'm finna get the best fuck of my life. All cause Chris Brown I, I, threw his I dick in her face. But are you gonna That's be able to have sex with your wife or girlfriend? Let her have that moment. Knowing yeah. that she might is fucking you, but thinking about Chris Brown. Well, I mean, she's probably fucked. Who cares? Who cares? She's fu- fucking yeah. She's fucked other dudes before in the past. I'm sure, you know, maybe yeah, some exactly. dudes have crossed her mind. You know what I mean? You, like, you think your woman, you you think your woman's thinking about you every time she has sex with you? You're fucking stupid. I don't even. Uh, I, don't, I would hope so. I mean, it's I. <laughs> I have never thought about anybody else while I was having sex with somebody. I mean, I never yeah, do but, that either. Yeah, I mean, I, I have before. Time, no, I'm months, like every but. time. <laughs> I try to focus on something, but. Yeah, some but I enjoy what I'm doing. Is, so yeah, that's what I'm like saying. Yeah, because yeah. I notice when I'm in my head, it kills my vibe. Okay, you know what I'm saying. No, I wouldn't want to kill her fantasy, man. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for I, her. I would, I'd, I'd let her, you know, go, go get on stage. You good? I feel the same. That's the same my, thing. That's the same thing I said. Like if I was married, I or if way. I had a boyfriend, and say we was at like Beyonce or Megan Thee Stallion or whoever, mm-hmm. and they pulled him up on stage, I wouldn't be mad. I want Marcus. How you feel yeah. about this? Oh, I better get rewarded for letting you get that dick slap in your face when you go up there. When you come home, I better get some extra shit. Man. Yeah. I ain't playing. Q, Q, what would you do? Hey. 
<laughs> what about? But what about? Uh, is she nut off of that? You said what? <laughs> if, if, <laughs> you know, if she get her nut, yeah, she, off of him doing that in the stage. You know, uh, well, like I said, I she better be rewarded. I better be rewarded. I don't. Hey, Yo, she that's don't need now. She golden now. You said let. Hey, hey, she she going to do what the hell she want to. If she, if she said Chris. Oh, no, she no, call you Chris in the bed. No. All right. Yeah, now now we're, getting, getting, we're getting a little extra, bro. But. <laughs> like like for real, what oh, if we stroke and then she be like, and she be like, oh, she man, popping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that pussy popping. So, uh, like, what'd you do? What would you do if she started singing this song? Like, how you hitting it, though? I, shorty, shorty. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It might <laughs> turn me on. I might. Oh, my. I don't know. No, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Sing that like Chris. Hey, Google, like, turn my music on. Let's go. <laughs> Sing it, baby. Come on. Yeah. Let's get you she out of here. She'd be expecting you to start dancing and shit. And like, uh-uh, you got to yeah, learn the steps. I would honestly let my girl live in the moment. Oh, you know what I mean? Because you only live once, man. Listen, Fuck it. I had a lady let I'm me live in the moment one time with a porn star that came to a strip club that me and this lady have actually watched this porn star together. Like, really? Yeah. So we found out the porn star was going to be at the, the strip club. Come on. So What's yeah, we go What's out the there. What's the name? The what the, my girl. Close. The porn star. The oh, porn the porn star. star. Lexi Bell. Lexi Bell was the I porn know star. Her. Yeah, I, I bet you fuck you do. And she, so Y'all she, know the names? Yeah. I just look at pictures. I, uh, see, I'm, I was a fan of her. Oh. Not, yeah. Oh, wouldn't air my Yeah, she was bad. And uh, she came to the Diamond Lodge. So we went out there and, and she was letting Lexi rub her pussy all over my bald ass head. Damn. You know what I mean? And then. Bro, you got cue ball. Well, nah, the bold <laughs> fade, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so oh. my head was down on the thing. It's, oh. it's a lot to explain, but... Uh, I thought you was talking about like this. Nah, nah. <laughs> I just picture some chick with legs. Right. Like, just, like, this big-ass bald head just like for real. scaring them like a cute yeah, thing. Oh. Make, then, make your soft spot hard. So, so yeah. later that night... <laughs> Later that night, I we was intimate. The from and, uh, <laughs> he said he smelled the chlamydia. <laughs> it looked like someone hit it with a hammer. Not going to oh. hold you, but I don't. it didn't stink or nothing. At least you talking about her thing thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looked like you hit it with a hammer? It looked like somebody hit it with a hammer. <laughs> hey, can you, can you turn up Kev a little bit? <laughs> Turn Kev up a little bit. You have to think that she's a porn star. You have to think yeah, how many miles of dick, But I mean, yeah. like, it only takes like 10,000 to motherfucking, yeah. like, close I've your beach. I watched her take miles no, of dick. No, it takes like 10,000 to close your beach. Miles of dick. Like, yeah. Yeah. The thoughts of miles yeah. of dick is horrendous <laughs> to me. So, <laughs> so, long story short, but we, we home that night, we kicking it, and we, we get intimate. And at one point, she said, actually, uh, fuck me like Lexi. Or fuck me like I'm Lexi, oh, wow. and I immediately. Came. I'd have been digging. Right I mean, in immediately that. came. Like as soon as she said it, I came. Bro. Like, it's like oh damn, can we yeah, like, yeah. like immediately, bro? I was done. Like, you say what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Melt. yeah, I was, I was, I was out. Oh shit, that's fucking crazy. Now, Ew. now speaking of hoes. Um, <laughs> Could you wipe up? Hold on. What about, would you let your dude go up there and get, like, pussy put she on his face? Yeah. She, she, said, she, said, she said, yeah. yeah. I ain't I, here. I'd be up bad. there, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, bitch. My bad. I missed that part. Yeah, <laughs> she be trying to answer yeah. herself in there. You know? Right. See the like, girls call your man on stage. You gonna let him go up there and, like, bitches sitting on his face and shit. Yep, it's a fivesome. Damn. Yeah. If, it's what my opinion. If you coming home if you coming home with her, there should be no there should be no insecurities. Nah, nah. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you, you know. Everybody ain't like that. Yeah. Well, what, what if he invites her back to the hotel room? It's See, then, then there's a problem. It's a party, you know? yeah, yeah. yaddy, yaddy. I'm like, oh shit, we going to the hotel. Let's well, go. well, maybe. <laughs> nah, I guess. See, would nah, you? Nah. That's a new question. Are you turning down a threesome with Chris Brown? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> like now, I'm a good player. He knocking us all out like that night, bro. I heard about him. Like Have you? He hits bitches. Yo, yo, oh. <laughs> you sound like you're not. No, nah, I'm. Yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna turn you down. Sound like you're not gonna turn that down. If, if I'm in love with the chick, for sure, I'm definitely turning yeah, yeah, down. Definitely but not. if it's just some chick I just met, like at the bar or some shit, or like I, I've only yeah, been, I, I never no, hung we, out with her then. Nah, whatever. Let's t- let's turn her up, dog. Uh, yeah, shit, I'll, I'll come over. I'll, Am I coming I'll with hang you? Hang out in the other room. I smack this odd bitch shit, out of Aaron, bed. Yeah, if I just <laughs> met her, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, go hang out with Chris Brown. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shit. If I just met you and you willing to fuck Chris Brown in front of me, all right, let's do this. Would you watch? I'm, I'm participating. I'm DJing. Oh, I'm DJing on that bitch. Like, which one you want? Let's which one you want? Let me sit there playing old Usher songs. My bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say play Rihanna. I'm, all I'm saying is oh, I'm oh, going to have, <laughs> have one, one hell of a story to tell on the podcast. Yeah. A round of applause. <laughs> Come on, 
Cool. Yeah. Could, you, could you wife up a dude or wife up a dude? Could you marry a dude or get with a dude that's been passed around already? Like just smacked all the homegirls already. Yeah. You could. Mm-hmm. Your homegirls. So as long as so as, long next- as as long as he don't do it while we're together, that'd just be the same thing as like a girl that had a past. Okay. Everybody no, got a past. Yeah, that's what I'm but I'm talking about as as in your you- group. Like he doesn't smack. Oh no! Like you guys all get together, like he, they all he, he and each no, other. No, I won't even. Like, I oh, won't even. No. So like I everybody have, smacked, but then all of a sudden now he's white and wife you. I have right? no, yeah, no, yeah. no, not you if know. you. No, I have like um only a select few of friends, like Shonda, Amanda, Nikki, Tiffany, a couple girls I only hang out with. Yeah. But now like if a guy had ever had sex with any of them, like I would never even. Okay. Yeah. Just for the That's fact respect. that she had sex with my best friend. Yeah, I can. Because this one dude. Had sex with my friend Shonda, like years ago. No and, names. Right, a couple of years ago, he All tried names. to get on me, and I was like, "No, didn't she smack my best friend?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was like, "Well, that was like 12 years ago." I said, "I don't give a fuck how long ago that was. You fucked my best friend." Like there ain't, you know what I mean? I wanted to, but the yeah. fact that he had already had sex with my best friend, like my sister, no, the shit was just over with. You think your best friend do it for you? Hell no! I know she would have banged. Well, she had already done it, so fuck it. But I'm well. I'm just saying there was there was a couple situations with a couple of my friends that right. you know I told them about a guy, and then oh yeah, I'm gonna talk to such and such or don't he look good? And then the next thing I know, they're in each other's inbox. So that seems like, to be fuck? a common occurrence with women, isn't it? Yeah. So oh. which is why I really only have like Shit. one because, or two friends. Yeah. Because when women tell other women about it, that's like a commercial for your dick. Yeah, yes, 100%. Yeah, no, I ain't saying as soon as, as soon as a chick tells another chick, hey, this dude's pretty cool. He's doing this, he's doing that. He got oh, this, he yeah, got that. They're that's like, well, it. I yeah. want some of that. But see, I would never yeah. do that. No names. The yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would never do that. If my friend tell you this story. told me, you know what I'm saying, that they was talking to somebody, <laughs> like that dude is totally off limits. You feel yeah. me? Like, <laughs> no, no names. Even if they ain't so never even fucked. Sharon, no names. No names. I had this girl in Sharon, no names. But um, no names. she can't. Came up to me one day and she was like, I heard this, I heard that. And she was like, I want to have sex with you. And I was like, thinking to myself, I was like 18, 19 at the time. She heard you did butt stuff, And I was sitting huh? in her car. They're like, Kevin no. likes a finger in And the I was bubble. sitting in her car. I was sitting in her car and she's like, um, I want to I wanna do it. I heard you got good dick. And I'm like, Kevin. what if I don't want to do it with you? You know what I mean? Like, what if I don't want to do it with you? You know what I mean? And she's like. She's just like, <laughs> like she laughed in my face. Like who don't want to? She's fuck like, me. yeah, right. Like I know damn right, well right. you want to fuck. Everybody me. Everybody know Kev trying to smash. Yeah. <laughs> she laughed in my fucking Kev face. Kev laughed too after he said it. He too. reached in the back seat and pulled out a, a whole bag of toys and everything. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was like That's as a matter of fact, I white bag. girls. <laughs> what, back when I fucked white girls, we called that mash and taters. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> mash and taters. <laughs> Don't be quiet. No, no. All right, Kev, I got a question for you. You ready? Yes, sir. You on the hot seat? What is your biggest, absolute biggest? I'm ready for this one. Your biggest pet peeve? Oh Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Biggest chewing with the mouth open. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, we did talk about that. Or slurping, any kind of that. Like, or look, like, I don't even make noise when I kiss. What? What about when you get some dome like, and she's slurping? Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. I like okay. those sounds, like the macaroni yeah. and cheese sounds when you're doing it. But I, what I'm saying is, is <laughs> like the, a dog even drinking water for a long amount of time. I want to shoot myself. Damn. I want to shoot myself. Or if somebody's kid is sitting at the table just chewing with their mouth open, it lets me know that their parents have never smacked them upside their fucking head. And it just pisses me off because I, I used to get smacked upside my head for that shit. I feel you. Nico be yeah. chewing with his mouth open sometime. I'll be like, boy, he don't shut Hell your no. damn mouth. But no, you know, that's just me. What, what, what's everybody else's? This drink is busted. Drew, what's yours? Uh, are we talking about just in general? Just in, anything in general. Anything. If anybody, any. I got a lot. So the shit me, that bothers me the absolute most is like when when I'm like chilling with somebody, right? And uh, and they can tell like I'm just trying to chill, and they just won't shut the fuck up. Like that that fucking like when you're trying to watch a movie and someone just constantly yeah, like, 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 yeah, like, like, like shut the fuck up or like we're vibing to like, a song or some shit and yes. they just won't like they just keep talking mm. like yo or you cruising in the whip and they trying to pound I ain't said a motherfucking word in ten minutes and you still talking. 
You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up. Somebody gotta continue this conversation. Some people think some it's a defense mechanism. Some people think, some people think, some people think that they have to be talking at all times so there's no dead air. But it's okay to just sit there in silence. You know I, what I mean? It's okay I to I fuck just with chill. some dead air sometimes. All the time. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think that there shouldn't be dead air at all when you're kicking it. Like my mom Guilty. will just fucking talk to somebody's head off. And it's like, mom, you don't have to be talking all the time. I like to talk too, but there's a there's there's moments when it's like, you know, right now, shut the fuck up. Me and Drew actually spend a surprisingly a lot of time together in that break room. Yeah. Oh, I know. I see the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Drew will post the picture, then Aaron posts the picture. Then well, Drew he started it. Then Aaron posts it. <laughs> he was taking pictures of me from behind the shit. No, I'm just saying you hey, I took a selfie the other day. Pause. All right. Marcus, so we, we, we need to show the picture with Drew jumping on the guy's back on the break room. Uh, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to post. You, yo, I'm going to send it to you. Post it on the Facebook page. Well, see, one of mine was like, but I got like you. Kev said, like, people just, um... Shit, I forgot what he said, but yeah, what he said, <laughs> yeah, chewing with the mouth open, but chewing ice is another thing of mine. So I don't like chewing ice. It's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Oh, see, I chew ice. Weird. Chew nah, for real, that little <laughs> when you chewing it. Oh my oh, god. Or have you ever taken like a sweater and put it in between your teeth and the? Oh, what the fuck? Why? I've like, never. Like, bit down on a yeah. It, why? Oh. It sounds. It's, uh. I've never. I have a feeling Kev be nibbling on random stuff. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh, yeah. So you just be eating sweaters? Yeah, you gotta fight that. No, I've ate spiders, dog. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I, I'm a taste person. So you mm-hmm. taste everything, huh? Yeah, you buy a new shirt, like, well, that's that. Me want no, no, no. <laughs> get him a mic. Yeah, we need mic. We need a mic. I know. Get him a mic. Yeah, for sure. I can't. I'm having a hard time here, but I want to hear it. This shit is funny. You gotta take out one of their Hell ear yeah. pieces out. What about you, Coley Cole? What's your yeah. number one biggest pet peeve? I don't even know. I got so many of them. That's why I stay single. What's the biggest one. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, the biggest one in <coughs> I, I can't even think of just one. Like, I got a lot. Everything. Like, a everything lot. pisses this woman off. Everything. Purple what, dicks? Yeah, no. That'll, no. That'll, that'll, no. Tiny I don't know. Dicks I know. Pisses pisses off. Little one, yeah. But no, I don't mind that because it ain't about that. Like, we, like, the conversation we had before. It's about how you work it. Exactly. I've right. been with someone who has so some little. What you, color? Some, you work with something like that and make it work. Oh no, not that. <laughs> <laughs> not that. Oh. Truth, like fuck you, no. dude. <laughs> no. But, I mean, yeah, that's why I say I. You're I an asshole, single. man. <laughs> you put me on blast. Or maybe I don't know. Who told you, bro? Maybe I just been. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I like. Uh, I got. I don't even want to go down the list. Like just not shutting, not shutting the shower yeah. curtain. <laughs> Not fucking. That's shit weird to that's me. That's shit too, around yo. your crib, though. Look, that's, that's cause you're used, used to it. That's like what being in like your work area. Somebody not that, finishing like, the like job and they don't and know. Socks on the floor and shit. No, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Everything. I'm telling you, I got like some severe OCD or some shit. Like everything yeah, has a spot. It. Everything's got a place. Like the shit needs to be in its place. My my house is like immaculate at all times. Facts. Like, you can tell if somebody's been in the room. Oh yeah. yeah, look, Nico, Nico will be fucking with me because Nico don't believe me. I'll be, be like, like the remote, I'll be like, go. The remote is over there. <laughs> yeah, Nico will be like, well, where's this at? I'll be like, it's such and such. Like, I know where everything at is in my son's room. Like, my son will ask me, like, mom, where is this? And I'll be like, oh, such and such, and this, blah 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 blah. blah. But then, like, the crazy uh-huh. thing is, is like a person can walk into my living room and like move something or pick something up, and I know exactly what was moved. Or I'm telling yeah, you, yeah, I yeah. got problems. That's what I'm oh. saying. You'll be like, you over the top. I was not laughing at you. I was laughing at. I got. I do. I got problems. He got liquor in a protein shake container. I, I, was, like, he I, was, know, that's I was like, "Wow!" We just, yeah, we ain't doing no crimes with this man. Wow. <laughs> but no, yeah, I got a lot of a lot of little pet peeves that shouldn't what really matter. What about like dirty matter. fingernails? Yeah. Like, some of us got uh, jobs, yeah, Kev. I mean, so like, <laughs> some of us go to work. work. You Yo, dickhead. Yo, some of y'all got hey. Some some people got hand soap and Gojo too, motherfucker. Yeah. I use yeah, that shit every day. day. No idea how dirty I mean, if you be. just came from work and your hands is dirty or whatever, I'm not gonna. Man, I don't like to be fingered on. or nothing. Dude, anyway. listen, so, listen. Really so the dirty I drive mobile equipment all day, every yeah, day, we right? Do some dirt. And and every piece of equipment I drive. Just fucking squirts out hydraulic fluid all over Literally. the place. Oh, it catches yeah. so, fire a lot too. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and I catch on fire a lot. I found out. Uh, oh yeah, you ever been driving a lift and driving a lift all day, and then you got battery acid on your fingers, and you touch, you like touch your mouth or your yeah. eyes. You're like, oh my god, my dude, I've die. been stuck inside of a of a furnace full of <laughs> molten metal. 
Yeah, twice, in twice in one day. Twice in one day. They forgot about it. Interested in his fucking life. <laughs> Bro, listen, I told you they hire him. He's a he's a bull riding UFC <laughs> fighting <laughs> motherfucking metal sitting next Yo, to we going metal uh, melting Monday? motherfucker. Yeah. We going this Monday or next Monday? Two Mondays from now. Well, I'm gonna go. I want to go this Monday, but I'm not gonna ride one this oh, okay, Monday. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out and see. You know, if you're mean? really about to do it. Well, My man I, I Drew is about it. to ride a bull, y'all. That's big right. shit. I'm yeah. trying to go. And all right, the boy, the merrier, bro. As long as Ryan <laughs> comes through with the equipment, I need the equipment. He was talking about that. Yeah, as you long as talk, you got to talk to him about it. Yeah, as long as he got the like got the right equipment for me. What equipment do you need? Just a saddle. You need a helmet and you need gloves. But yeah, you need the helmet. You need special gloves. The helmet. You better get yourself the Walmart. I'm sure Walmart. I don't think they sell cow riding or bull riding stuff at Walmart. Now yeah. my man be talking to me and working the pit, and he be telling me all kind of crazy stuff. About yeah, it. are people get? Huh? I thought the vest was like a Kevlar for real, for real. Well, I'm sure yeah. like the vest, like the vest that they wear, probably. What's well, yeah, probably you have to understand though. What he's yeah. doing is like local shit. This isn't PBR. This is just a, uh. some like the PBR is fucking crazy. Yeah, Those that's what yeah, I'm yeah. Well, the, it is. It is actually part of PBR. Yeah, some of the is it? Yeah, they actually have yeah. some uh, big time. You're gonna bulls be riding there. a PBR bull? No, I well, no, he's not no, going. He's, he's gonna be riding a oh, practice bull. Like, yeah. yeah, I know, bro. Like you're not. No, yeah. seven no, seconds they do type have PBR shit. PBR on Saturday. That is the one. Yeah. Where Brian was telling me about that. Yeah, they're, yeah. their big one. Yeah, their their Saturday yeah. shows are, are huge. Yeah, he will eventually be on one in PBR. If if I'm good enough, yeah. I'm about to do it with you. Yeah. Shit. I'm gonna Yo, do it where they want. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be there blogging it, bro. If I'm if I'm legitimate yeah, good enough, I'll fucking do it. You know what I mean? Call, call me. Oh no, we ain't talking about the fake. Nah, I'm talking about real that's, that's easy for me. I mean, I'm not like I can't yeah. stay on. I rode my nose before. I did yeah. pretty Girls good. I did pretty good on that. Did you? Yeah. Oh man. But one thing guarantees you won't get thrown off that bitch before you go. We gotta pray for this dude before he goes. Yeah, just listen. I can handle the fall. Just pray I don't get my head stepped on. Yes, because they, be, I, they yeah, be looking for that. I don't care how yeah, tough bull. I am. If a bull steps on my fucking head, I'm done. You know, yeah. I'm fucked up. This yeah, the, yeah. You definitely, you ain't going to be the same. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. And, so. and then it's like, I can't even feel bad because you put yourself in that situation. No, I know. I know you right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I mean, I feel bad still. I feel bad. Had to, you know what I mean? I've came up with a, I, I've done. <laughs> you know, this cat decided to sit on a wild animal. Listen, I've done a lot of crazy <laughs> shit, and I've always came out uh, good. So I'm hoping this is just you, you, you know on the shit. same level. You got this shit. I mean, I'm gonna try my best. I'm, you know. You got good it. Good luck, dog. player. You're gonna kill I'll it. be there to watch. But listen, hey, when it's all said and done, even if I break a fucking arm, you know, I got insurance. I'll go get it fixed, and then I, I'm gonna be like, yo, I wrote a fucking bull. What'd you do? You Either way, it's gonna be. You know what I mean? Internet. Like, what'd you we do? Post, <laughs> we either post it on the Break Room podcast or on World Star. I One of them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so who's really living? You better get that. You know what I mean? Every every dream right. that I've ever had, like I'm like, yo, I want to go fight some MMA or I want to do this, I want to do. It. I fucking yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. I was I'm scared as fuck the whole time, about, but though. I did that shit. You know what I mean? That's exactly what that yeah. fucking phrase at the beginning of that song says. Yeah, bro. I, yeah. Affleck, <laughs> Affleck. That's what I'm trying Affleck. to tell you. You get hurt, <laughs> Affleck. <laughs> and, and the best part about it is. I got life insurance, a lot of it. So if I die doing something like that, you know, I'm, I should be good. My kids yeah, will be straight. Affleck. It covers, <laughs> it covers if you break young. your leg and you can't you're go to work. To Affleck. Right now. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Make sure you're covered. Are you in good hands? <laughs> <That's all. laughs> Mayhem, bro. <laughs> like all state mayhem yeah. and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. go. Damn. So That's what I'm talking about. That's an audio engineer motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's Hell what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, I got. I do got to shout got, out my man Q real quick. This cat came Q, through Q. the other day and helped me build them porch steps, bro. Yo, he he killed that shit, bro. I, almost I, didn't I, I like he was cut a couple boards. This cat was in there with the nail gun and the drill. So yeah, he, I mean, he, he was doing his shit. thing. Shout out to my boy, man. Let's go. That shit, that shit helped out a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. We about to, we about to make this That's cat steak homie. dinner or some shit. You know what I mean? Some fire. I almost didn't know it was your crib because the steps. The I steps know. He was like, I was like, hold on, where the broke steps? For as long as I've known Aaron, his steps has been fucked up. Yeah, I just, Ever yeah. since you moved here, you're still Yeah, I kept them like that so she could cheat and stay hey, away. But then, let's talk about Aaron going down on those steps. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We still, oh, ain't run that, we still ain't run that footage. Like, yo, that's like a holiday thing hey, every year. Yo, the way I got, got, got videos. I got memories, yo. Different times. Just droop, droop, droop. Hey, that's the I can make a whole music video so out of that shit. shit. Just yo. different clips. He got so much up shit so has happened nonchalant. on that little porch. <laughs> yeah. He got up like so much happened. shit has happened out there in the winter time. Boom, boom, boom. Hell yeah. He just got up he looked around, pulled his it, pants up. Fell down a whole flight, pulled his pants up. Like, all right, come on, y'all. Yeah, all right, let's go. Come on. <laughs> but you know, damn well, as soon as he got back inside, he said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
he said he had to get that, out of the kitchen. Nah, I got stuff. saved. I got saved Yo, on that one. Was that the same, Aaron? Was that the same day that you bent the rims up? That was the day. The day after. Oh man, I forgot about oh, that. Oh, you had a bad fixed? week, man. I'm sorry. Dog. Yo, what's up, good, bro? You see me? Week. I still smile, bro. I don't take none of that. I know. Man. I, I done, just empathize with you. Man, man, I done gained everything and lost twice that in the same week and climbed back the next week. Facts. I feel like as long right. as I, as long as I can breathe and wake up another day, I can make it back, bro. So I'm not worried about nothing. Yep, sir. Nothing. And uh, fuck it. Yes, sir. Hey, two, mo- two months ago, I had nothing but my truck and my clothes, yo. Now look at you. Yeah, real shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, I saw that shit. That's what it's dope, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? This is fire. Hell yeah. <laughs> I want to say something, but I'm just going to stay quiet. Why? Because I was should... asked to stay quiet. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, well, okay, well, this, this goes now, in right with my next now. topic. All right, because we're going to skip over. I don't know what Cole's talking about. But. I know what you're talking um, about. I want to know what everybody's vision of success is. Like, when do you feel like you've actually made it? When you're just truly happy in life with everything. 100. Like, you don't have to have, like, a job where you make thousands and thousands of thousands of dollars to feel successful. Like, if you feel successful by means of, like, you're taking care of your bills, your family's happy, your kids are taken care of, you got the necessary means to buy what you want. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I have, I mean, I could have a better life, but I think I have a successful life. I'm not struggling in any type of way. My kids are happy. Mm-hmm. All my bills are paid. Mm-hmm. Got a nice that. car, nice place. I feel no, I don't have thousands and thousands in the bank, but you know, I feel I'm, I feel. I mean, I like I said, I could be doing better, but I feel like I'm cool. How the fuck I'm supposed to answer after that, dog? Thanks. <laughs> 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 you guys all feel the same way as that? Like, no, I, I, I can't something. say nothing. Like, uh, I got some. I got some. For me, I, I feel like success in my life, where I'm at, is when my kids are adults, they're successful because I allowed them to be. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I also enjoyed my life. That's all that matters uh, to me. I'm yeah, just yeah. trying, that's my whole Everyone, focus. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think everyone's version of success is yeah. different. As long as my kids turn out better than I did, then I fucking succeed. Facts. That's you know well, let, hold on. Well, well let's say, let's say right, right, right now. Um, you get a bomb ass job, so you make it fucking buku dollars. Like you bought a new crib, like paid, like it's paid for. You got a new, new truck. Yeah, new money new, ain't a thing. Got, yeah, everything. You know what I mean, kid, kids got college paid for everything. <laughs> would you feel like you made it? Yeah. Or would you have to wait until your kids is grown and successful now? You feel me? Well, I mean, if I well <laughs> see that we have to see that. you're right. That's a tough one because yeah. now I know financially. I mean, because I'm always be like there. that money's secure. You know you got yeah. it. It's not well, gonna get fired. Like you it's yours. I didn't succeed that yet. Way. Now it's just easier for me to succeed. I still got to do my part. Nice. Money's only half of the battle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You could have all the money in the world, but I know motherfuckers who came up with money and still was there. I was locked up with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? That the, mm-hmm. having parents with money don't mean shit. Are mm-hmm. your parents there? Are they there for you? Are they taking care of your your mental needs? Not just your fucking financial needs mm-hmm. you know i could buy you the best book bag in the world that don't mean you ain't going to school sad yeah you feel me Facts. yeah you could have mm-hmm. rich parents and like the kid like never do anything like what have you done in your life yeah. you know what can you do like can you fix this can uh-huh. you do that do you know what this is That's, you yeah. know what i mean like you got, yeah, you got rich parents and you just got spoiled little kids that are just dumb and can't do nothing because they're just so used to being Sometimes the money mm-hmm. deprives them of the struggle and they don't get exactly. to learn it. Yeah, you have to have some struggle in your life. Yeah, you know true I mean? that. Even yeah, whether true it's that. these little spoiled brats, they yeah. ain't even gonna get there. I mean, my son's spoiled. Like, my, my son has everything, but my son also learns too. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't hand him. You know, I just don't give him everything. My, my kids essentially came up with us. We were poor as dirt, living in the projects. You know what I mean? Right. We had we had one cell phone and that's between where I was the two jump of us. Off yeah, that's where I was gonna jump off at, Drew. Like, look, we all grew up poor. We all grew up on me. stamps, right? We all grew up on stamps. Yeah, we all 100%. know what the stamps books look like, right? Yeah. Um, then paper we drawings, all grew up poor, and so now that we're adults, but look, now that we're adults, we're less than, right? We're less. We're a little less than poor now, right? A little bit. And so, so, so it's not about the money or where your car is parked or what you're driving, right? It's more about learning to. Because we've been through these hard situations and where we grew up and how we came up, it's more about being comf- learning to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Right? So let's learn to be comfortable while we're uncomfortable. And that's what life is, man. Life isn't about be- when we're truly happy. You're not going to yeah. be truly happy. Somebody's always going to die. Somebody's always going to hurt you. Somebody's always going to lie to you. Somebody's always going to cheat on you. It's going to happen, right? 
So, but it's it, it, it's keeping the demeanor, it's keeping your tactic, keeping your sanity, and learning to be comfortable when shit gets uncomfortable. Yeah, you that's know, for I, me. I what remember. Life is about. I remember days when I would wake up in in our little project apartment down there in Connolly Apartments. Right, we ain't have fucking shit. I had five dollars to put in gas in the morning to drive my little uh, Alero to work that day to go build pallets for nine dollars an hour. Right, you were happy as hell though, right? Well, it sucked ass. It was horrible. I fucking hated every bit of it. I hated going home to my project right. apartment. But when right, I don't, walked in, don't cry though. Don't cry. No, nah, no, no, I'm not. But when I walked in those doors, <laughs> when I walked in those doors, my little baby girl, my little baby boy, right? They didn't give a fuck what the fuck I was doing for that money. They was happy, right. they were happy to, to see, see me. And I was happy to see yep. them. And I would sing to my daughter till she went to sleep. You feel me? And that was... The day. That's yeah, life. that was it. That's what it's about. Yeah. That's what it's, it's about. being and content. That's... Yeah, exactly. Yep. Exactly. Right. Being content. Yeah, so that's a big part right. of success in my life, you know. I think mm-hmm. Q really want to come over and be on camera. Yeah, we need I to wish he could be, bro. I, he got I, the I, energy. I love man, that. Yo. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> you're a great conversationalist. Hey, you got to learn man. how to be content. Like, no matter what I got, I'm going to be happy with it. Yeah. Today is Thankful. better than grateful. yesterday. Yep. Yes. Right. Remember be that. grateful. And Every day you're alive is better than the and last day. Failure is a key to success. You can never be successful unless you fail. Absolutely, mistakes. mistakes. There ain't no you know, sunshine everything. without the rain, bro. Ain't no no sunshine, sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> That's facts. Hell yeah. That's I thought true. it was ain't Every no sunshine failure. when it's on. Nah, nah, nah. It's when she's gone. Nah, when Already. she's gone. Oh, okay. What, All right, you, we what did you think it was? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think it was? When it's on. <laughs> yeah, we gonna when start the karaoke section. Did you say when it's on? Yeah, no. DMX. When it's, when, it's on on when it's on what? When it's on what? When it's on what, though? I, I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. He's, he's no sunshine crack. when you know it's on. Wait, like, what the fuck? When, what's when on? it's on. No. You gotta, no, you gotta that's, what that what? that's what he's saying. That's how he's saying that shit. Yeah, I, no, I was, that is what he's saying. I was singing the old school one. I wasn't thinking oh, when it's on, when it's on. I got you. Yeah, my bad, my bad. See, I'm telling you. Like, At least somebody knew some DMX. I mean, yes. I knew it was DMX. I, song. DMX I knew DMX, but, DMX, but that's just I, the I intro. Meant, like when it's on. I, I was singing an original song. You know what I mean? Okay. I when see it's it. on, then it's I on. Like the same I got to say, Al Green Jones, the Al Green Jones, or whatever. Was it Al Green? I don't Hold know on, what, what? I don't even know what song you were talking. Say it again. <laughs> the song you were just singing. Sunshine. No, no, that was DMX. Ain't no sunshine. Oh, you were singing the DMX one too. I remember Michael Jackson. That's crazy. Oh no, yeah, Michael maybe. Jackson sang that too. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, I don't remember Michael no Jackson. Ain't no sunshine. Uh-huh. I never heard of Michael Jackson. <laughs> he said, really. no Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, no, Michael that's Jackson so for real. That's so for real, ain't right. it? No, that's the dude no. from Soul for Real. I apologize. Okay, okay. He I'm sounded about to like say, it. I know Michael. I don't, it was I high pitched. He don't sing other people's songs. You don't know, bro. There's some stuff that Michael came Beast. out. He's singing his own shit only. Yeah. Michael well, his own shit. No, he's singing his own stuff. But I'm talking about like there was some songs that came out that I just posted it on my Facebook that you ain't even know that the Jackson Five sang and other people like man they sang it and like I, I don't know what's up. No, I feel you. Like uh, they said, Luther and then like, they uh, covers. Man, uh, Sammy Davis, uh, the Dream redid some shit from Sammy Davis back in the day, and it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. You should uh, listen to it. It's called uh, I forget what it's called, but it's on SoundCloud. He actually dropped it on SoundCloud. The Dream, and he did? redid like what? Yeah, he redid like five Sammy Davis, Sam Davis he songs. He got web fingers. <laughs> that nigga has like, fingers. Nah, no, I just say he looked like he got some web fingers. <laughs> Oh, it's because of the uh, the video. Dolphin. I have the thing in the back. I know yeah. I have the green screen. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we realized it's it's an off, for a second there. It's like an awfully small. <laughs> it's an awfully small thumb. You yeah. got the new yeah. Yeah. Call me, Kevin call me Howard the Duck. Duck. Sticking that thumb in buttons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Raphael. Uh, Goon turtles. Damn. Donatello. <laughs> He's it. <laughs> Yo, Drew, who's gonna win the fight tonight? There's Which the big one? John yeah. Jones. John Jones, John bro. Jones. Set up. John Jones, hey, man. Listen, since I was out of here. He ain't allowed to use crack no more. Work. He ain't good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. Listen, I got money on and everything. He is, oh, you do? He's going to beat Jones. the fuck out of Cyril Gunn. I oh, promise. Oh, who you playing? Cyril Gunn. This is first heavyweight okay. fight. I'm well, telling yeah. you, he's well, going to no. Cyril Gunn is done. This is John Jones' first he- uh, heavyweight fight. Tonight. Oh, yeah, he moved up to heavyweight. He's huge. Have you seen him? He's fucking huge. Yeah, he's a chonky boy now. But I'm telling you, Ooh, it don't John matter Jones how big you get, that his skill is not going to go away. Cyril Gunn just don't, it don't know. matter. There's been so many guys. How many guys before this have been like, yo, I'm that John guy. John Jones is the GOAT. Yeah. The GOAT. So many people have been before him. They're like, yo, I'm that guy. No, you're not. John I'm Jones sorry. is still that guy. He got, he got busted so many times. I don't have faith in him anymore, bro. He, he, bro, he's smoking crack. Bro. He's smoking crack. No, check this out, bro. He's smoking crack. 
on a Wednesday. Listen, <laughs> listen. Get, hit, running over a chick on Thursday, smoking some <laughs> more crack on Friday, and beating the fuck out so of he, Daniel fucking Cormier. But we was on Saturday, y'all. Yo, 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 no, 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 you can't. Yo. You can't. You can't say it's a fair really, fight and you fighting the crackhead. Wait, I don't give how a fuck. How do you know it's a crackhead? Like he got caught. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, he got caught with relative ease. You you can't beat that with relative ease. But what I'm saying though is, bro, you're not. We're not talking about just you and me fighting the crackhead. We're talking about Daniel Cormier is is an Olympic. Gold medalist, elite. Yeah, yeah but elite when you D on coke, shit moves slow. So he wasn't like, on coke during the fight. He wasn't on coke during the fight. I'm saying this dude had <laughs> six no, hours of sleep. No, he got it. He, he no, he had he was on something though. So the, the, he was on a, it's the IQ. a supplement. Yeah, they said he was on a steroid. Shit. They caught him with a with a a, a ticogram of a steroid a that he said a ticogram. Yeah, that's. Something hey, like that. A it was such a small amount, bro. That's it was like such saying a small I, a pictogram. I'm sorry, it was a pictogram. I smoked, but I didn't inhale. He like. was found a with picogram. a pictogram, a yeah, picogram of a of a, a performance a enhancing drug. Yeah, it's less, less than a nanogram. Yeah, that's what they found in his in his piss. That's how much. Look, he said it came man, from a dick His pill. IQ, his fight IQ, is better than anybody I've ever Have seen. You, do you watch? Like Here's the thing. Like stuff, Here's the thing. Right. He doesn't care if he like hurts you. Bender. He doesn't care if you have long term injuries. His elbows. Is he he is elbows. only about ending the ending this man and moving on. And he will bend. He will hyperextend your knees. He will chop your liver in half. He, he doesn't will, care. He is amazing. Yeah. No, he yes. don't give a shit. But he I lost against that white boy. Who? That white boy. John Jones did? Yep. You talking about uh, uh, Gustafson? Oh, yes, sir. No. listen, yes, that sir. was a great fight. Gustafson that was a great fight. Beat Hold his up. ass. That was a good fight, but you have to knock him out. It no, was Gustafson beat, beat his out. ass. When they said his oh, name, no. even his one eye that was left was like, <gasps> he would have had the to fuck? That was, that was <laughs> win. Listen, that's the only fight. You have to take John Jones out. That's the, you have to knock him yeah. out to win. That's Man. the only fight. You have to knock John Jones out. I'm sorry, like that ain't fight. no way, bro. See, I don't know neither. Gustafson, neither one of these guys. Gustafson nah, had to Gustafson, knock him out. No, I, 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 I give you dude, credit Gustafson. for knowing. I give you credit for even knowing about that. That's but, crazy. Like, because a lot of people don't even know about that fight even happened. No, I'm a, so I'm a, that, that was that was that was the best that was fight hands down had. his closest fight ever. And and I yep. take nothing yep. from from Gustafson because that dude's a fucking dog. Gust he is, and he wasn't the same on part two either. John Jones ain't been the same since that fight. He beat his ass. He broke his pride. That was like when Roy Jones lost to Tarver. All I'm saying, like, it broke his heart. Is it I, I feel you. All I'm saying is John Jones won. Technically, because because the, the judges said so, he came out with the W. Yes, think, he did. Look, I really think John Jones is the baddest man walking this planet. You I mean, do? I mean, with no weapons. You do? Hands down. I like the style bender, bro. Yeah, right, no, so, bro. So who's gonna win? John Jones. John Jones. John Jones. How about Valentino? Shout out to him. Kev, you said Jones. Absolutely, Kev. You say Jones. Oh, he, he says Kev, <laughs> Kev. Are you there? Yeah, no, yeah. Kev's All right. Jones. Just one more MMA question before we move on, because we got to move on. But what do you think about Bo Nickel tonight? You think he's going to dog dog walk this man? Man, I. You know what? I have high hopes for Bo. I really do. Look, you know Bo, and you know Bo has fought. Down. You know Bo and Ryan went at it, right? Bo, Bo, Bo and Ryan right Gordon went at it early back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he can put it on the team. Um, well, he don't I think both. Him. If it goes to the ground, it's over. Bo, it's over. All right. It's, you're it's right. You're right. right. Let, let's not keep it going because we got to move on. But yes, you're. What are we moving right. on? Right. To? We gotta move on. Let's let's move on. You know, Bo Nichols from the state of Pennsylvania. He's a, a Penn State wrestler. I'm That's rolling with, I'm rolling with him. Then. I'm a, rolling with him. I don't know. He's a monster. I don't know who he is. He's he from hometown. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. He's a hometown hero, but he's another one. No, but he's also taking on the top jujitsu, like all round, like. Ryan Gordon all around is probably pound for pound. Gordon the best Ryan is his name, but uh, yeah, Gordon Ryan. Yeah. Sorry, but Gordon yeah. Ryan is probably the best jujitsu all yeah. around fighter in the country. You know like who else you guys got to check out real quick? Dalton Rasta. He's from Newcastle. He's fighting in Bellator. He's still undefeated. I want to say he's either eight, wow. eight or nine and zero. Oh. Yeah, he's in Bellator. Yeah. He's he's climbing the ladders. He's from Newcastle. He, they call him Hercules, Let's and you'll go. see why he's as soon as you look his ass up. Damn, that is beast. a scary man, yeah. <laughs> Before his first Did MMA fight. Ass? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he beat the whole fuck out of me. You ever, I, you ever I, lost a fight? He said the yeah. whole fuck. You have? He, yeah, yeah. Well, we talked about so, yeah. I, He I, said I, he beat the whole <laughs> fuck out of me. Yeah. He said there was no that fucks a left. Fuck. Like, no, like, he, was like, he was like, no, I, I ain't fucking with him. I stopped one takedown. I stopped one takedown. It was because he was too far away when he, when he shot in. 
and I was so so happy about it. Uh, like I literally, right. I, I got away from one takedown, and I, my, right. I, I, I was able to take that home and go to that sleep. That made your day. Yeah, that made your so you came home with the bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I survived one takedown attempt. This, this is the shit they be doing at work. Oh, yo, you ever lost a street fight? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh yeah, Hell you yeah. got jumped before. No, yeah. I mean, I've lost some one on ones too before yeah. I started like actually training shit. I got Me beat too. up by one Hell dude yeah. uh, named Andrew Warner from Newcastle. I don't even know why I fought this cat. We were arguing in school, whoa, and I should have known. No names, no names. Yeah, we take names. Well, that's not nice. No, no, we're saying names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say names. We yeah. talk it off. I'm, I'm admitting to getting beat up by the cat. Ass with bio. But I should have known. He said, "Shout out, shout out, look at him on IG." Name good, Andrew Warner. It's out to you, Andrew. Big, he's a big dog, bro. Listen, I was like a little. I'm still little. This cat was like six three in high school, right? I'm like I three years younger than him. Nobody that beat me up. Fuck that cat. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> nah, he's still mad about he, it. He, he God, beat me fair and square, bro. And then he was respectful <laughs> afterwards because one of my shoes came off and they gave me my shoe back. Oh, yo, yeah. yeah, that's, that's love. So I got mad love for them. Yeah, they, love. yeah. He said he gave me. They was they was a pair of Jordan threes. I'd have been sick. I'd have been f- since we naming names. Since we naming names, I got beat up by Tony Dillon, and still to this day, fuck that cat. <laughs> hey, that's that's fuck my you, cousin. Sorry. No, that's my cousin. <laughs> oh dear, oh, that's my, my cousin, bad, man. Well, yeah. Fuck your yo, cousin. Fuck your cousin. <laughs> hey, he was like now a look, boxing first training. of all, I know Tony. First of all, you know my cousin would come here and whoop some ass. He was boxing so training. So don't play. I seen Tony fighting. This him. motherfucker fuck was not too cow. This Tony is crazy as hell. He was a wild one. Great. Tony so no, was mad at him because he kept happened. dropping him and bombs. Let me break the story down. Like, this is what he do. You know what I mean? How he beat the shit out of me. Let me break the story. Hold up. What? He said that's just what he do. Yeah, he just be dropping. Because that's how he talk. He uses just in slang. That's. What, nigga? Yeah. 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 yeah, like every other you know, word. Tony. Every other yeah. word. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's how we talk. When you yeah. were saying, I thought you meant like. Oh no! No. Like, like, <laughs> no what? No. How? how? Yeah. No, I Let me tell you the story though. How it happened. Let's hear this Tony Dillon so, ass whooping. I was, I was, I was visiting Sharon, visiting my mom up on Lorraine. She lived on the West Hill. Didn't and you I was beat from up North on the Carolina. No, check Pete. And I was playing goal ball over at Copen's house on the West Hill with a bunch of dudes with. And this dude named Nate Carmelita, which is probably your cousin as well, punched me and uh, pushed me up on the wall and slammed me against the wall and was like cussing at me and, shit and screaming at my face. So I punched him in his mouth and he was bleeding from his <laughs> eye, his nose and his ears. Damn. And uh, Damn. that was Tony Dillon's little little nephew or cousin or some shit. I didn't know. Yo, where the fuck did you anyway, punch him that he bled out of his mouth? I don't know. But anyway, but anyway, flash forward. Look, flash forward Finish like him. a year and a half. Get flash here. forward a year and a half. A year and a half later, I moved to Sharon, Pennsylvania, and I'm sitting at the lunch table, and Tony Dillon walks up to me, and he's like, yo, are you this, that? And I'm like, yeah, I am. And he's like, you punched my cousin in the face. And I'm like, I don't. And then Marcus Chavers jumps up and throws Tony Dillon halfway across the fucking lunchroom. <laughs> because... I'm sitting at the same table as Marcus and all them. You know what I mean? Like, so Marcus Chambers gets like, get the fuck out of here and throws Tony across the lunchroom. So nothing, nothing, you know, Tony never fucks with me again. And then I'm hanging out with Munch on the front of my lawn one day, sitting on my porch and Tony pulls up next door and Munch is like, Oh, there's Tony right there, Kev. You gonna get him? I'm like, hell no, I ain't gonna get him. You know, I'm like two <laughs> years younger than this cat. Look, I'm like two years younger than this cat. He's a senior. I'm a fucking ju- like a freshman or some shit. And I don't want to fight this cat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, Munch started that shit. I squared up with him. I ripped his little Dallas chain off his neck. I punched oh, him in the face. This cat. Off of that. I bet, right. you, oh, I bet that Dallas cha- yo, that that Dallas, He always yo, he, had that on. He loved Dallas more than yo, Aikman. What you talking yo, about? Yo, he's like, my grandma gave me that chain. He was like, <laughs> oh, yo, like Debo uh, and uh, motherfucking yeah. Red. Yo, my grandmama gave yo, me that chain. This cat, yo, this cat hit me with a hook. He hit me with a hook and he hit me in my cartilage in my top ear. I felt that shit for four months. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> straight Yo. up. Straight up. He gave he you ass a straight <laughs> hematoma. Was way crazy. Yo. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> the triple bleeder. <laughs> he said he hit him in the ear. His dick Damn. He got syphilis for that bitch. <laughs> Yo. And then, and then, and then he laid me down. And he, look, he was about to start kicking me, right? He was about to start kicking me, but then Munch threw him off of me and shit, and then he left. And, it, and that was that. And then like two years later or three years later, we ended up Meeting, meeting up and it was all respect and all love and shit and then we played a uh, Tony Hawk pro skater and I beat him for like twenty forty dollars or some shit. I beat him at Tony Hawk. Was that forty dollars yeah. worth that fucking you guys <laughs> <laughs> the big payback? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> 
If you like to make a call, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tony was my I ain't even gonna lie. Look, back back Tony in the day, I just wanted to be cool. I just wanted to be around the cool people. I dare I say I wanted to be black. So like you I was just willing wanted to, go to be death cool. That. Hey, I mean, Tony, I was just no, no. Yo, Tony, calling you out. You call me out, Tony. On Tony Hawk. Yo, Kim, like I'm halfway. Like when we walk, pick up the homie, meet halfway. Damn. What about you, no, Marcus? You ever got no. your ass whooped? Back in for real. <laughs> oh, little fast you? ass motherfucker named James Johnson. I don't know. He's just fast yeah. as fuck. I was fat. <laughs> I was out there with a box and motherfucking tail. I was walking. It was after lunch and everything. Motherfucker hit me in my stomach. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> hey. for real, that shit was funny as hell. Like to me. <laughs> Like afterwards, because I, I wasn't even in the conversation he was having with himself over there. I was, I, he just turned around, I was like, "Bow!" I was like, "Yeah!" <laughs> 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 like, like, I ain't know what the fuck. That laugh, yo, like, yo, you heard that yeah. shit? Like dead ass, like what? Like dead ass. Nicole, you ever been jumped? You ever been beat down? Nope. I ain't Cole, never, no. Nobody ever beat you up. I ain't never been beat up. That cave. Damn. Damn. What, what's your record right now? No neither. That cave on the senior trip. Um. Huh. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Who? Whoa. Was it that cave on the senior trip? Oh, the, the piece of corn. Bruh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look. We, you got look, corn okay. to the face. Look. No, yeah. We was on a senior trip, and we all started, like, walking. Was and, it like, white corn? No. Was you there? No. Nope. Oh, how do you know? Did I say it? It was a picture in the senior book. Okay, yeah. We was on. Yeah, um, this corn. We was in. Corn. The this Adventure Club with good. like Mr. Choffrey's and stuff. Mm-hmm. So on our senior class trip, we was um, we just got done doing like white water rafting or something. I don't know. So we went back to the camp and we found this cornfield. So we we was all running around this cornfield. And everyone was like um, picking up corn and throwing corn everywhere. So like as I was running, like I got hit in the head with a piece of corn, but like it didn't really, you know, what I'm saying it didn't like phase me or anything. Like I didn't even, you know. So I just kept running around, grabbing corn, just throwing it and throwing it. And um, Matt Raytai, the little wrestler with the gray oh, glasses, yeah. he was like, oh, my God, Nicole. And I'm like, what? He was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I'm like, what? You know, like, what the fuck? Bro, the corn hit me in, like, my head right here. And I guess there was, like, blood just, like, gushing. Everywhere. 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 But I didn't. Even, I didn't feel it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like I didn't even know. You got binked by a piece of corn. Yeah. Damn. In the cornfield. Yeah. yeah. We was all running around like grabbing corn and like throwing it. Just, that was some hard. You know what I'm saying? Corn. Just like throwing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was some Indian corn. What about you, day. Aaron? <laughs> Actually, I ain't, I've only been in like two fights, and it was when I was a child. So like. That's wild. Yeah. How the fuck do normal people just not be getting in fights? Because they're not assholes I like you. Too much weed. I'm not an asshole. I mean, I've gotten, I I've gotten in fights. I smoked a lot of weed, bro. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I've gotten in a couple fights. Listen, I, don't, I, just, I, don't really have, I don't get beef or nothing. I have so, no issues with nobody. Bro. So, so all right. I don't fuck with nobody. I, don't I didn't. Nobody. This, Drew's just an asshole. No, I, listen. So <laughs> the, other night, <laughs> the other night, I didn't get into a fight. But okay, I, but I could have. I go out. He said just yesterday. The same bar the same bar that I stole on the one dude. He said, I could have saved the hoe, but I didn't save the hoe. Yeah, exactly. That was one time. I saved one hoe. Anyways, I'm playing pool with my boy, right? Some other dudes was on the sticks. We was playing darts, and they leave to go smoke. They was out for, bro, they was gone for like 15 minutes. I'm like, yo, let's go play some pool. So me and my boy go over to play pool, and the pool balls were already out. He had a dollar on there, but I thought these guys left, so we start playing. He comes in later that, uh, you know, like 15 minutes later, and he grabs a hold of the motherfucking, the cue ball. I'm like, bro. No, I don't give a fuck who you are, how old you are, none of that. You, I got you gotta money on let the me. Table. Nah, fuck your money, bro. I'll give you your money. I'll give you your money back. I don't give a fuck. You're not. I'm. Pl- I'm finishing my game. Mm-hmm. I don't care what we gotta do. I don't care what has. Mm-hmm. But I didn't fight him. But like that's. You gonna tell me you would just let someone come take your ball away? When you was playing no, pool? No, absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. No. What about you, Aaron? No, I understand, man. You well, gonna let that man come take your pool ball? No, no. All right, then. No, no, so if no, that would have turned no, into a fight. No. But why does that shit happen to me and not other people? Why do motherfuckers want to take look, my pool ball? Well, because I think he's going to he's gonna look at us differently. Is it because look I'm some you. little ass white boy? I think so. God no, Yes. I'm not yes. going to lie. No, no, no. Because I know you. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't it tell is, anybody to fuck with you. But yeah, so you're Thank telling you. me Damn. you're... Damn, cute. You you know it's all that shit like a firefighter, yo. That's my dog. So you think he's going to look at you different because you're bigger? 
No, uh, no, he might no, know Puerto Rican not. judo. He just would. I think you don't know if he got a knife. I think he would come to me and say, judo? "Hey, I was playing that." That's what he was saying. He would like take my cue ball off my table. He just walked and up I would just been like, ball. "Hey, you've been gone for like fifteen minutes. Our game's yeah. almost done." Well, that's what I did. And I even offered to pay for his next yeah. couple games because you were cool. Yeah, I pulled money. I'm trying to be cool. I even said that. I was like, "Yo, I'm trying to be cool, bro." Like, and then he's like, "What do you mean by that?" What do you mean by that? You trying to be cool? What you want? I'm like, bro, fucking yeah. stop, man. I'm like, you're like 50 years old, bro. Yo, I'm not. I'm not. Yo, yo, you see the people I'm with, dude. Is. Like, what is wrong with you, bro? Like, if we hurt, what like, I think it is, Drew. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. You're intimidating or you're an asshole. There's I think no way it's, I'm You're young and good. No, look, you're young and good looking, and you're a threat. That's no, it. I. Uh... Yeah, you know I mean, like you're a threat. You're a threat to have <laughs> yeah, women think, in the right? bar. Period. Say, right? Like, no, you're a threat to women. But you gotta. Don't you say yeah, that? you're a threat to half yeah, of these dudes in the bar, no, Kevin be and saying they don't like you being in the bar, the single, walking around. No, my son you know tells me all the time it's not that. That might have something to do with it. We gotta but... say no homo. No, they, they don't want you taking their bitch. That's what it is. Well, he wasn't even in there with no lady. I guess that's why he'd approach me different. You know, look at me like a I was with you until that part, but no, like dead ass, like. It looked like, oh, look, uh, well, maybe I could take him. <laughs> like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, hell no, I but, but I know any given Sunday anybody could beat your ass. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, uh, she no, could beat my ass. Like, like, right now, yeah. Yeah. I know I could get knocked out, too, any day. It's but, happened. I've but admitted that. Some people just, they, they judge that book by a cover, and they don't know what people really got to yeah. be real. That's what it is. He ended up but changing his mind. I finished my game of it, pool. It might be the oh, way man. you carry yeah. yourself with the confidence that you have. People people see your confidence, and that that's a threat to them. Yeah. And they want to challenge your confidence. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's how all my fights Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. white bitch. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what? Like, why is it always got to be but that? You, but, but look, well, it's not like intimidating because, like you said, you're this that. little white dude. So it's not intimidating, but Shit. it's a threat to their confidence or their ego. White you dudes. Know what I mean? they, I've never knocked a white dude <laughs> out. Like, <laughs> a white, a white <laughs> dude always was <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That's, that's because we smoke crack. No, <laughs> come <laughs> man. Yeah. You and this what crack. I had to Who's swim him. Like, I, like, I had to smoke. Like, for real, because I was in wrestling, bro. I did my little Good thing. Shit. You know Good what I mean? Shit. Like, I did my little thing. Wrestlers are the most dangerous people to fight. Bro, I, at first, yeah, I, until I found out that you get hit back in fights, like, I didn't know you get hit back at first. Because at first, it was just over. Like, all right, whatever. Pow, pow. It was over. Like, but then after, like, well, no. My first one was James Jones. That motherfucker hit me in the stomach. I think yeah. fucked Changed up. your I, life. Change my, That's ain't never nobody, happened again. Ain't nobody <laughs> gonna get me first. I promise you that shit. Like, uh, she yep. turn around. I'm like, I no, 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 uh-uh. no, I sucker you straight. Like, yeah. but nah. But um, after that, it was just like, no, nah, I will wrestle. I fought y'all. so many cats and Sharon. Did you, man? Sharon, yeah, man. Sharon was different, man. Yeah. Sharon was different. I used to run home fights? from Mandy. I used to run home from Mandy and all that Mike, Mike, and all them at first when I first moved to Sharon. Because I was the new new dude. I used to run home every day. They was trying to get until to one us. day I, Yep, until one day I turned around and punched their white bull in the face. Uh, they had this big white dude with them that tried to fucking pick up. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's saying white, but what he means is it was the smallest. No, he he's said, talking about I, the no, white dude. I no, punched the little bird. He was tall. He oh. was tall and lanky. Like He was huge. But they used to, they used to send him, to him after me. None of them came after me except they used to send that dude after me to chase me and shit. One day I punched his cat in the mouth and he literally cried in front of them and then I was cool with everybody. Oh, shit. Like It was it was crazy. No, it goes like that sometimes. I just got tired of running home, but I've seen the shit that we used to do, like the shit that D. Lee and PV and... Iggy Man, Iggy. the shit that and B, you remember, Iggy you remember Iggy. seeing Big League get knocked across the street? Well, I tried to move the mic like it was gonna make me hear. What? By P, you remember when PV knocked yeah. Big League across the street or yeah, Derek Lee? No, it was Derek Lee. I was gonna no, say I don't Derek. think PV ever fought Big League. No, no, it was Derek. Derek Lee hit Big League one time and he knocked this fool across the middle, the middle yeah, double line. I would have been laughing my ass off. No, because I saw that. Yeah. Greg Big League is another one. Like Greg Big League, he just he just looked like one of them like. <laughs> He just looked like somebody you want to try to intimidate for some reason. Yeah, like, like, I was a geek, him. and I fucking tried to motherfucking no, bully Beagley. Like, I was like, what you talking about? Yeah. And like, he looked like he cat from... used to bully me. No, Look, he I was... used to get bullied all the time. I ain't bully you. Oh, shit, dog. As soon as I stepped on what? your porch, my short uh, my, my get him. was young. I ain't my bully you. Young. He coming Bullsh- back for oh, I had to earn every inch. I had to earn every inch. Me? Me? 
or, or who I was with. All the basketball we played Rematch. out of your house. Oh, oh, back? oh, oh no. on the court? Oh, fuck you. Hell oh, yeah, shit. I dunked on you. Couch. Hell yeah, I shook <laughs> you. Hell yeah, I dogged you on the fucking court. But when we was off the court, <laughs> you was my homeboy. I don't give a fuck. Like, so I, what I'm saying is we had all that the big time that video we spent together, camera. I had to. I they yo they used to clown the shit out of me dog and try to make me like not want to be around and at times I'd be like yo fuck it I'm still gonna go to their house and no. that's what happened no the only time <laughs> that the only time me and Kev didn't get along is when we was rapping in his basement and he rubbed his dick on the microphone and tried to pass it to me oh I was like oh. fuck yo, no that's man that's he was like he was like I rubbed my dick like, yeah, on the mic and Vicky 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 I rubbed my dick. On the mic, and Vicky, 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 and they're gonna pass it, nigga. Hey, yo, it was right after we found that white. No, no, it was right after we found them Polaroids of that fat dude in the, in the refrigerator fucking oh, them bitches. Shit. Hey, yo, why oh, you put shit. your dick on the microphone? No, well, well, I want to hear more about this fat dude. Yo, yo, oh, dog. Check it out, check it out, because the shit that I was spitting was ridiculous back yeah, then. Yeah, like for real, he was a freestyle. He was a freestyle. It sounded like it was some real ridiculous shit. He said like something like shit that I don't like, and da 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 da. Rub my dick up on the mic, and then dick on the mic, and zig zig zig, and then they're gonna try to pass it to me. I'm like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with this? Like, you gotta spit a couple more bars on this motherfucker first. Yeah, you gotta let it breathe a little bit. I put my dick on the mic, now put your mouth on it. Like, no, I couldn't do it. Like, yeah. You don't remember the karaoke machine when you was rubbing your dick on the mic, bro? Oh, fuck my face. I swear I, I don't. Was about to say that, but I just I, went this like. <laughs> like, dead ass. My face hurts. I believe I did it. But, but no. I believe I did it. It was, right, at, it was the day we found the pictures down there, man. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, that was, was up in the rafters. Story. About the pictures. No, no, was, yeah, <laughs> was this? Was this? Was this like a a serial killer? No, he had a nice little bit. He had pictures in the fridge. Listen, yeah, bitches we, in the fridge storing coke. I ain't even bullshit you. In the fridge, like, was it like Bruh, in the park? it was a Polaroid Naked. of <laughs> him Naked. sitting his belly on the... Naked. Yo, bitches in the fridge with their feet up, with the door with the, open. Yeah, with the one foot. Ah! Damn. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what kind yo, of Polaroid that was when it was hungry. It was, it was like Harry's. I need details. Yeah, I'm going to recreate. Bruh, that shit was his crazy. His stomach was sitting on her back, like, for real, for real. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Aaron found she was an interesting like picture a while horse. renovating for the studio. Those are, yeah, those are definitely interesting. That was definitely oh, interesting. Oh, the titties. Yeah, that was a nice tip. I thought it was a man for a second. You said child That was lightweight child. That was lightweight child piece. Those are little titties. Yeah, those are titties. You don't think you what? Little titties. I don't know. I just felt like looking at it, I felt wrong. Well, she was stressed up, though, so I guess. Yeah, see, she's taking her shirt off. Yeah, yeah. You found little titties. I felt wrong looking at it. You see that picture, didn't you? Uh uh. Yeah, yeah, I found I a picture in the rafters when I was cleaning this place out. They uh, hid pictures in the rafters. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, picture. bro. So that was like an old yeah. thing they did. Yeah, yeah they hid yeah. them. That's where you didn't. It didn't look legal. Picture. You it thought they was legal. Oh, you thought they was minors in the pictures. Yo, listen, it was it cop. Somebody, those are, those pictures had to be developed, man. So that means somebody. No, no we had Polaroid. No, that was. Could I have seen this? Oh, yours. I didn't know if I should have seen that shit. I was like, no way. There was many of them. There was like four of them at least. At least. Hold on, what are we talking about here? We the talk pictures about? in the. He's, he's, in the he's the talking about. Place. He thinks that girl was uh, underage. Oh, the pictures you looked at. And it was four. No, he's talking about girls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. That's why I'm confused because he's talking about the fridge pictures. Which pictures are you All talking about? The ones you found, Aaron. I only found one of some titties. Yeah. That looked like a. We ain't talking about your pictures. Like Twenty. No, I'm talking me. about the one you sent to me. A eh? that shit did not seem oh, right. I was like, oh no. Oh yeah, that one got developed, bro. I didn't fucking take it. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. I know it wasn't you that developed it, yeah, but yeah. when That's I saw I mean, it, I was like, I felt it. bad. I, said I felt <laughs> bad in my mind for looking at it. I was like, those nipples are a little too pink for my age. Right. Well, she looked like she like, What? I didn't actually look that deep. Yo, like you've never so fucked high. a grown ass that woman that still that had pink titties? Hell no, he likes it. <laughs> no, no, look, but, 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 but when was the last time like you fucked dark someone other than your wife? <laughs> check it out. No, check it out. I fuck black bitches. I don't okay, so, bitches. well, no shit. Me too. But the, yeah, you expect pink nipples on a black woman? That sounds dumb. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. I don't. But, but what, what I'm saying, I'm saying is, is what what Aaron sent me and what I saw was a little too pink for my age. Okay, no, that's all, right, all yeah. I said. Okay, all right. But what I'm saying is, until okay. a, until a chick has um. <laughs> <laughs> Until a chick has a, ch a kid, her nipples stay pink. No, I understand all yeah. this, man. But what I mean is that shit looked a little too puffy and a little too young for my... I can't be looking at that. Okay, Ooh, he said that area. So, hold on. All right. So, you wouldn't fuck that. like a 20-year-old if you were single? Fuck no. 
What do I look like? What do I look like? All right, what about like 25? No. What about 25? No. She don't even know how to kiss me. No. She don't even know how to kiss me. Fuck out of here. I'm 38. Well, yes, I'm 30, though. That's the thing. Yeah, it's different you, you, you're 30. So a, a 23 to 20, like a 23 is probably the youngest that I would do. But like, that's not that that's fine. Bro, it I is am, like, don't get me wrong. Bad. Like, I'd be thinking like, damn, like I was like. Bro, I'm about to be 42. Oh. Man. You know, that's what I mean. You're 12 years older than me. So yeah. 12, for me, a 23 year old, that's seven years. For you, that's Fuck 19. Man. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. That ass. Like, that's so, what right, I get what you're saying, Kevin. I, I had to really think about it for a second because I'm thinking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was definitely a grown yeah. woman, but. A yeah. chick that's maybe no, 21, 22, that's not that to, weird. You don't know how to make, look, just like when you're 20, in your 20s, you don't know how to make love. You think you do, but you're a jackrabbit. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but you and, could You know what I mean? Like, so I don't want a 20-year-old that doesn't know how to kiss me, doesn't know how to make love, doesn't know how to make a sandwich. Like, you get the fuck out of here. Him. I want somebody teach him. that knows how to do laundry yeah. and knows how to, you know what I mean? Uh, do, laundry and not, down and shit. do laundry and not eat the tab. Fuck out of here. Motherfucker. <laughs> See, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I can knows do my own laundry on yo. Sunday. I don't know how to make breakfast on Sunday. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got lost. On the subject, you ain't even picking. No, nah, I wasn't paying attention. Was my bad, it's my fault. You said some other shit. Oh. No, I was, I was. Oh, you was looking at his phone. I got yeah. lost. Yeah. Let's move on from the bad. from the the titties. We, yeah. Oh, we still talking yeah. about titties. We were talking about hey, titties. Yeah. I love let's, titties. Let's move on. I, love, I mean, I love titties too. <laughs> titties. <laughs> No, nah, I ran out of subjects. I like them pink. I like you them brown. Titties. I like them all. You love titties too. Marcus Byler on Facebook inbox all titties. If you want to send some titties for us we to will, judge, we will yeah, judge. We will judge titties. We, but I my inbox this. though, Marcus <laughs> Byler. <laughs> Marcus <laughs> Byler at, on Facebook. M A R Q U E S. Big dogs. Yeah. Uh, that's that's not on my Facebook though. But B Y L E R. You'll see me like this. New website, <laughs> huh? Big dog at Rocket <laughs> Mail. No, I ain't giving my cap and kaboom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. I think I think that's long enough. I think Bro, we, yeah, we was know. just getting started. What we were just we starting doing? to get vibing. What else you got? What, what happened what on your phone? You, you were looking at your phone. Yeah, you were just looking you at just, your phone. What you happened on your phone that you have to end it? Because he hit the blunt. He is. a He is. Yep. No, no, because it's like. Yep. It's already 10, 14. Going? This, you, I got work in the morning. You can have an episode two and three and it's like Star Wars and shit, dog. What? Oh, yeah. That's because you started oh, an hour later. Over 10. Oh, I was here at seven. I was there at quarter after. We started at 45 after, at 50 after. Listen, you can stay we, up all you want to. No, I can't. But what I'm saying is, is I'm talking about professionalism. And I was, I wanted to say it earlier is like, look, you told me 15 after. I was there 15 after and won't nobody ready. Marcus was on Amish time. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Amish don't got no time. Hold on, hold on. Sundown, sundown, the sound. Hold up. The sun went down. I got off work. (laughs) I got off work. I took a shower and then came to the pod. Yes. You did good. I, I remember Aaron, someone that I came home, it, I took a it. shower, and didn't come to the pod. Oh. Who? Bro. 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 You what can't say shit <laughs> if, you, if you haven't been here like five times. You can't say shit. I've, I've been to five of them. Yeah, yeah, I did a whole interview, bro. Yeah, you know did I mean? do like, an interview. Uh, you know what I mean? If you I interviewed a like weirdo, bro. Times, you know how hard that yeah, was? I know. Yo. I that shit was did. actually funny. They got a lot of views. That, that was that was funny. Yo, I didn't even talk about you tell you about but uh, his brother in law or the girl that he was talking about. Remember, I told you that they they commented on the fucking video, but then they deleted it. I had a conversation with her through Facebook Messenger. No, his... it was her brother that left the oh, comment. Shit. Oh, her brother. Yeah, he okay. called him like a meth head and shit. See, I, I had a conversation with her, and I was trying to get her to uh, actually come on and tell her he, side he of the wants story. To come on. Her brother does. Yeah. Her brother. Yeah. Let him on. Yes. We have a mini, mini interview. We're going to have him on one side yeah. and him on That's one it. side. You be in the middle the of the like brother, Her brother, how would he know much? He's just going to come and stick up for his sister. But either way, have him on. Cause I'll, it's, I'll be security. Well, hey, if you're watching right now, <laughs> message Quinn. me or I'll be security. hit up the break room. Let's bring him on in. On Facebook. Kev. And we will man? get you a little no, mini man. interview. You can tell your side of the story. Oh, Kev did. <laughs> We want to hear all the shit. We yeah, like Lori in this bitch. You want yeah. you got a DNA test? You trying so to? So the pizza <laughs> continues. The pizza saga continues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the dude that threw the pizza at the girl. Yeah, and he I, made I the lost. Y'all he made the motherfucking funniest status on Facebook the other day. A man threw he a pizza said at a girl. He likes uh, he likes his women like he likes his coffee, without his brother's dick in it. 
Yeah, he really oh, beats his shit. I lost go. my shit when yeah, I that's read that. Yeah, that's the Breakthrough Podcast. It's Let's DJ go. A. Oh. It's Drew. We got Marcus, yo, Big yo. Dog, yes, Coley sir. Cole, and my man Proform. Don't forget about my boy Q behind the boards. Hey, episode, nine. Podcast, episode, episode 9. Episode 9.